Hey everybody, happy Sunday, and uh, um, here we are, and we're going to go in and meet uh, our new personal treatment and training, which is a whole family. They all came down here to learn how to love together, do body work on each other, and heal together, okay? And it's uh, called Breaking the Family Curse and Inviting the Family Blessing. Over here, take a look. You see the empty bird feeder? Last night about five o'clock in the morning, he ran. I tried to take a picture of him, but we had a big buck here and he cleaned out the bird feeder. I'll give it a shot again tomorrow. Anyways, let's see. Are you ready? Can't zoom out. <laughs> ready to go? Not yet. <laughs> There we go. Hold me. All right, we're right. gonna go see them. All right. Here we go. Hey, Hello. hey Hi. buddy, give me a hug. <laughs> so, tell everybody what your name is. Daniel. My name's Daniel. And what's your name? My name is Joshua. I'm Caleb. And Tara. And Tim. <laughs> All right. And where are you guys from? From George. And what are you doing here? To get healthy. You're here to party. Yeah. And what are you here for? Party. <laughs> okay, now what, what, what is partying to you? Dancing and partying. Did you guys play any of the dance music last night? Uh, no, but we played it this morning. All right, did you shake it? Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, we bounced on the rebounder. We were dancing. We found some good dance tunes on there. So what are you, what are you here to learn? You I first. want to heal my family. That's the number one reason we came. And what, what does that look to you? What, what does healing look like to you for your family? Well, I would like their specifics, but uh, I mean, we're always on the road for wellness, right? And eating well and... Can you tell me some specifics? Because there's other families yes. out there that can relate yep. to your family. To our family. Migraine headaches. For a 12 year old, he's had them since he was about five years old. Right. We've tried everything from chiropractic to everything. Little man over there, he's nine and he's got bad eczema. And right. And tummy aches. And tummy aches. Well, okay, so let's understand something. So, with eczema, right, we know that it's fungal. Okay, so I'm not saying that this happened, but the, not you, but the mother could have been on antibiotics just prior to pregnancy during pregnancy, okay, uh, or uh, too much alcohol, too much sugar, but something bombarded the mother's uh, good bacteria during your pregnancy, probably. Or you were born and the doctor said, hey, crisis, crisis, and they gave you antibiotics. So something had to take the good bacteria and morph them, and something had to take the regular yeast that was in your large intestine and actually cause it to become fungus to drill holes and now the fungus went through your bloodstream and it's coming out of your skin and whenever you get stressed out whenever you eat too much sugar the fungus gets worse okay that makes a lot of sense because what mom was craving when she was pregnant with me is food lots of fruit lots, lots well no 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 but, I, 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 kind of but guess what though <laughs> the fruit does not cause the problem the, the, it can exasperate it some, but not. But fruit is not fruit. Fruit does not cause fungal problems. Uh, processed sugar does. Processed sugar has a left sprint, a spin to it, and uh, fruit sugars have a right spin. The left spin is what feeds the fungus. And, and, that, and just like uh, you can eat as much fruit as you want uh, when you even have cancer, and it doesn't feed the cancer. But we should never drink fruit juice because that can whack us out because that creates too much sugar like natural fructose in the blood so that can jack you up but no that's not the problem mommy was doing something else I mean I don't know what that is and headaches when do your headaches come um all the time they just, well last night you got last one. night I got, I got here like bad really one. bad migraine thrown out and how long was uh, and how much water did he drink when he was in the car not he finished his leader at like 10 o'clock. Well, see, that's yeah. not gonna work. How much do you weigh? 70 pounds. So we know that he's 70 pounds, but the problem is we already know that he 
runs on high anxiety. Now, people can run on high anxiety and they're very quiet and calm over in the corner, all right? And the ones that are, will get the migraines are the ones that are even the quietest because they don't voice their opinion. Whereas this guy might talk more. He might talk more, he'll talk about it, he'll talk about his grumbly tumbling, and you, you don't want to be any trouble, so you try to not be the trouble in the family, so you won't talk as much, and then you'll blow up like a kettle. You know when a kettle makes noise. And what about? Kayla? Um, I can't seem to focus very easily, and I have a bad, um, bad pimples and stuff. Well, again, it's, in, it's intestinal, but he's anemic. You're anemic. You're low in iron, that's obvious. Okay, very low in iron, so we already know that your gut bacteria is in trouble. You know, we find today that so many people can, are not absorbing iron, no matter how much iron they take in, and they go get iron shots. Well, guess what? Iron's not the problem. It's your bacteria that are the problem. The bacteria are the problem with you and you, definitely, okay, and you. <laughs> All right? Okay, I see that right away. Yeah. All right? Okay, so what do you want to get out of this? What do you want to get out of this? Now, remember, everybody, they're here for the personal treatment and training. How many here are going to be learning the deep tissue, uh, the non-surgical, the two of you, right? Yeah. And then, Maybe Joshua. And, okay, so, and then you'll be going home, and then, then you'll be teaching your kids how to do it. Yeah. So understand something. That's the whole goal. So... We will check in with them and they will be honest. But when we get to the end of the week, you will be able to tell the whole change in this family. And you'll be able to tell that this family is going to go home and rock their world. And the reason why you're not going to rock your world is because your world is getting rocked by the outside world because we've never claiming our inside world, which is our family. It's called, you know what? Ending the family curse. And the family curse is not that your family was cursed. It's just that society curses everyone. We get cursed by religion. I didn't say all religions, but we do get cursed by religion. Death, dying, disease, divorce, all of the stuff, you know, that they emphasize, right? You know, the devil, sinners, all this stuff. And, and when we make our feel, ourselves feel guilty and we become unworthy, we can't heal. And what do you think that does to the vibration of the family? So we need everybody here by the end of the week to have forgiven themselves for everything they've ever done and everything they're ever going to do. Now, some of you are going, oh my God, don't do that. <laughs> well, I'm telling you right now, when's the last time that, that you made a, a mistake and you didn't feel bad already inside? We don't need anybody smashing us around like society likes to do. So we got to get rid of the guilt and we got to honor and respect our physical bodies and understand something. The day that you feed your spirit more than your physical body will be the day that you rise and open your eyes. Okay? That'll be the day. So that's the thing that we want to do here is, is we're going to be focusing on the physical body with the Wolf Non-Surgical and taking and getting rid of uh, adhesions and knots and scar tissue and blocks because when your physical body is blocked, you block your spiritual body. Right? And to understand something. Here's the deal. Your emotions create all your illnesses. So you have, uh, your, your major program is anxiety and worry. So we need to get to the bottom of what are you worried about? What's, what are you anxious about? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll get there. And the subconscious will always say not sure right off the bat because it wants to protect its main program, even if it is causing you a headache or even if it's causing you a tumor so what you got to say is you when you get a headache is that I, 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 I love I love this headache it's making me recognize that there's something I need to change about my personality to change about my reality what would you like to get out of this well I'm at the age where I'm feeling uh, quite constipated and I I have done well with the energy we've been on about a 20-year learning voyage but we realize we're missing a piece of it and yeah.